So in class we introduced uh, moment generating functions and then we also did a discrete example. So we did an example where x was binomial np and we wanted to find the moment generating function uh, of x. So let's try a continuous example now. So we want to find the moment generating function of an exponential with rate parameter lambda. So remember the moment generating function we denote as m with subscript of the of the random variable and then it's a function of this variable t. And by definition the moment generating function is the expected value of e to the t times the random variable x. And by definition of expectation I guess using the um, the law of the unconscious statistician we have uh, in this case, since we have an exponential, we'll have an integral from 0 up to infinity. So our g of x in the law of the unconscious statistician is e to the t times x. And then we're multiplying by the PDF of x. So that's lambda e to the minus lambda x dx. All right, so you know just to be more explicit we're thinking about this as a g of x and it's got a t in there also and but that's all right it's um it, in the integral here the t is constant even though this is a function of t we're integrating out the x's so we're just going to be left with something uh, with t's in it and maybe a lambda All right, so let's simplify this integrand. So we've got an integral from 0 to infinity, and we've got two exponentials in there that we can uh, bring together. So we'll have a lambda, and then times an e, and then if we arrange this in a particular way, we can maybe see how to do this integral uh, easily. So e to the minus lambda minus t times x dx. Uh, so we're just multiplying those two exponentials and then factoring out a, a minus lambda minus t. So you should notice this looks pretty close to the PDF of an exponential. The only problem is there's a lambda down here and there's a lambda minus t up here. So if we switched one of them either this here to a lambda minus t or this here to a lambda we'd have the PDF of an exponential that would integrate to 1. Well I think we can do that pretty easily by multiplying by 1 and then we'll be left with an integral that's not 1 but that's you know some constant. So first what if we uh, multiplied by lambda over t Oh, sorry, lambda minus t over lambda minus t. All right, take that and multiply that by our integral. So of course that doesn't change anything. We've just multiplied by 1. But if we take part of that constant and put it inside the integral and take the lambda out, I think we'll uh, notice something pretty nice. So I'll take the lambda out and I'll leave the lambda minus t in the denominator out but I'll pull in the lambda minus t here and we've got e to the minus lambda minus t times x integral over dx and now this you should notice this integrand is exponential with rate parameter lambda minus t. So this here is the PDF of exponential with rate parameter lambda minus t. And what that means is that this whole integral is equal to 1, which is really nice because then we're just left with lambda over lambda minus t. And that's our moment generating function. So moment generating function 
of an exponential is lambda over lambda minus t. And you know, one thing that you should notice here is that this is really only true for t. Uh, we have to restrict t. So we don't want t to be greater than lambda because that would give us uh, a negative rate parameter here, which is not allowed. So in order to do this integral, we were making an assumption that t uh, is less than lambda. All right, so I hope that gives you some, uh, some extra practice working with uh, finding moment generating functions. And again, I think as the semester develops, we'll get more and more of a sense of why moment generating functions are useful for mathematical statistics.